Those buggers have gotten me again. Look at that. Look at that. Look what they did to me. I'm not sure. I don't know the damage is this time yet. But... They are annoying. And so... I need to buy some cayenne pepper. Because if you put cayenne... Yeah, but where am I going to put it? They like that spot. It's we. I guess that spot wasn't as closed as the other parts of the bag. So the smell came out more strongly there. Uh, but yeah. So I got to put cayenne pepper on it. If I put cayenne pepper on it, the mice will not like that. We'll try it. I have to do more stitching today. Yeah, and started again. Didn't start early. That was cool. I was able to pack up everything and get ready by ah, 7:45. And that's when I started moving. That's pretty. That's my I think my earliest time. Uh, pre eight o'clock. That's good. Hey, it's getting started early today. My toe stubbing. It's one of those things. It is now. A very quick switch because I've had 14 days, two weeks of toast of it, and it's enough. <laughs> it's like, uh, <sighs> pay more attention to my steps. All right, so oh, yeah, I'm trying to meet the uh, the cowboy gang, I just called them, and uh, <laughs> and they are. There at the next shelter, it's like two miles away, like Long Branch Shelter. So I'm gonna try to catch them before they leave. And when I get there, I'll, um, whether they're there or not, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'm not, probably, I'll stitch up my bag again. And I hope, I mean, I have chili. So I'm gonna try to put chili powder over it. And then, the, when I hang it up tonight, I'm gonna put chili powder on it. Because the mice will not enjoy chili powder. Oh man. Can't believe they got into my bag again. <sighs> oh ho ho. Check this guy out. Boom. Ba -ba 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 -bum. That's the biggest one I've seen so far. Here we go. Down to the water source. I haven't seen it yet, but they told me it's pretty good. I met up with the with the gang at the shelter. Should have taken a video. I didn't. <laughs> I guess I, I'm a slow learner. Bear with me. But look at that. Oh wow. And you can see over here. Whoa! Look at this pool. You can really do some wash. That's awesome. I'm going to wash my shirt, maybe. That's awesome. Hey. So. Ah. Uh -huh. I didn't trip until I started recording. I was being very... I guess I was being more aware. Multitasking, you know. Alright. So. What was I thinking? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, hunger. On the trail. Maybe you've heard of it. People talk about trail hunger. Where you can just go crazy and eat everything and anything in sight without ever feeling satisfied. Well, that hasn't happened to me quite yet, but I'm about two weeks in, I'm noticing a change in my appetite where things that used to feel enough no longer feel enough. So I definitely won't call this trail hunger yet, but I'm starting to get more hungry like today what time is it maybe it's like noon I've already eaten like a bigger uh, cheese seed pudding than I would normal than I used to eat it's bigger than before I also ate uh, two cliff bars already and um, and normally that was that was like more than enough you know before but now I'm like oh I really want to eat I want to eat more I'm not I am not satiated 
at all. So, we're, um, <laughs> it's starting to kick in. I noticed the last couple of days, about two weeks, I'm starting to feel a little bit more hungry. Um, as far as weight is concerned, I don't know, I haven't weighed myself, but feeling, I think I'm losing a little bit of stomach. Um, but in general, I don't, I don't feel like I'm too skinny yet. So I'm, I'm trying to pack in the food, I'm trying to eat, I'm eating a little bit more than I was in the beginning, because, uh, well, number one, I want a lighter backpack. Number two, I'm coming up on a city, uh, Franklin, North Carolina, and I want to, I want to do a proper resupply. I don't want to be hindered by the things that I'm are, that are already in my pack that, like, I really don't want. I just had to get them at the Dollar General, but, like, I'm eating the stuff from the Dollar General, and it's like, you know, it's just cashews or sesame something or others with peanuts, and, um, but, man, they give me heartburn real fast, like, instantly. I'm like, ugh, you know, that stuff's not sitting well, but... Whenever I eat the stuff that I brought to begin with, I don't have those problems. So I want to maintain that really like healthy trail eating as best I can. I don't want to eat those things that are causing me, you know, upset stomachs and stuff. So I'm trying to get rid of those things now so that I can resupply uh, with the things that I actually want to eat in the next town. So I'm kind of eating extra for that reason too. Um, so yeah, hopefully not losing too much weight, and 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 um, and feeling that increased appetite. Seems to be a lot more. Uh, kickbacks, which are those double blazes, you know, kick back left or, or right. So you can see on this tree, I get close enough, that means the trail is changing directions to the left. You always follow the top, top blaze. So right after that kickback I came out here, I'm like, where do I go? So I see that little sign post, I, I, huh, I guess maybe it's over there, but then I see, then I see this little trail, I'm like, huh, there's no white blaze, normally there's like a post in the ground, but then I look down, there's the white blaze, so there, the path continues. <sighs> North Carolina has a lot of beautiful water sources. These are real nice. Check out this campsite. The trail is just there. It comes up here. There's this beautiful little campsite with this really nice view. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I think you can see that. If only I needed to rest right now, but I don't really need it. Um, but yeah, this is just a little bit after Wallace Gap. We climb up a steep hill and Right after that road crossing, and you climb up a steep hill, and it kind of grad, 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 I don't know. It becomes less steep, it becomes more gradual, <laughs> graduates out. And, uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, so this is a nice spot if, if you can time it. Hot talk continued from yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Talking about self worth and doing something you value. And just, I just noticed today another example, you know, uh, having some, yeah, real nice conversations with, with Merv and his kids 
they're they're really cool by the way that's yeah that's just reminds me of when i was a kid they remind me of of me and some of my friends so that's cool and um but anyway i was remembering uh or thinking about how like i wasn't like i'm not seeking approval um and like a real i would say problem i had when i when I had low self-worth or low self-esteem or wasn't doing the things that I valued was this needing and seeking approval from other people and like whenever I interacted with them in, in conversation or or in hanging out or or whatever but I was just like really needing and seeking this approval so that was always a hindrance in the flow of conversation you know it's um, it adds to that what will they think about this how can I say it or what can I do that they will think well of then I can get that approval that I need for my own self-worth or my own self-esteem so that's just something that I noticed which is just awesome so awesome for me is that I was there's none of that there's none of that. it's background noise man all that stuff totally whew, it just screws up the energy, like, flowing between the two people. Like, the whole flow of conversation and the, and the, the interaction. It's just so much smoother when all that background noise isn't there. So, I just noticed that, and it's great not to have that background noise of, of seeking approval. So, yeah, just, I, I just think it's awesome. So, I wanted to share that. Whoop! One more piece for that. Hawk Talk is. Um, just had a thought as soon as I closed the camera. It was that um, you know I'm a I am I am approval. I have my own self approval. And and for me like that's enough. I don't need anybody else's. You know it's. I'm not saying it's bad. It feels good when I get someone else's approval and <laughs> and stuff. It's not bad to have people's approval, but it's the need for it that's a problem. So, so yeah, I have my own. I am approving of myself, and and, um, and so in this moment, that's enough for me. And um, so, so that's that's what I was just thinking. What's like the short soundbite for that? Yeah. So when I have my own self-approval, I don't need somebody else's. Boom. So you come out over there into this parking lot onto a massive highway. <laughs> and then you can see the uh, at the end of the parking lot is this thing. I don't know if you can see it. It might be too bright, but there's a blaze on there. So you can see that guy. So you go across the street eventually. But uh, I'm going to follow the blaze this way. Alright, let's see. I got to the end of that. More white blazes, and you can see that was a double. Had to kick back to the left. So then you want to go to the left. Whoa, this road looks nice, huh? Nah. That's cool. Then I come over here. I see a sign over there that says AT. I'm gonna go that way. Maybe that's a trail. I mean, I was going to that opening, but look at this. And there you go. Oh. That's where I go now. <laughs>